Warriors in position to close it out here in game six on the road. How much urgency do they feel? Well, as nice as it would be to close it out in front of their home fans, they can't be complacent. With everything they've invested all season long coming down to this moment, the time is now to finish it all. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. Thompson the two with Wiggins at the three. Then it's Wiseman, then it's Jordan Poole, and it's Baddest one in at the four. Pure from three-point range. The percentages from range aren't there yet for Murray, but his confidence never seems to waver. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Collins outside. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Nice, smooth stroke. John Collins has improved his confidence from mid-range. He put some rage into that one, B.A. You're telling me. First quarter of play, a minute in. To the wing on the left. The shot that time, not on target. So Golden State will take it the other way. Here's Battis one, guarded by Young. Again, the Warriors score. And three for four to start, showing some rhythm. The Hawks have gone two of three from the floor. Out to the right wing. Pass to Murray. Outside Bogdanovich. Clock at six to the middle. Here's Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. What a pass by Bogdanovich. Sending it straight to the wide open man. Here's Battis one. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. Right out of the gates, they've been in attack mode. And I think that's by design because it has been relentless. And what's more, they're getting their feet wet down there in the paint early on. Not shying away at all, taking it inside. What a great way to start. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Here's baddest one. It goes again. His sixth basket and seven tries. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Poke loose. To the wing, right side. Back to Young. Can they get it? A nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Because of the quick release, Trey Young needs only a sliver of room to get off his shot. Here's baddest one. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Out left to the wing. Here's Capella. The Warriors pull it in. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimmick. He is torching a defense that simply has no answers for him. A minute 50 left to play in the first. Pass to Murray. Left side Bogdanovich. No good on the three. The Warriors leading. Here he goes. And he dunks it down. Doing more work in the painted area. He has really excelled inside. Atlanta with the ball. Here's baddest one. And that one's good. 21 points in the game. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. They get it back. Yeah, he's kicking himself. No defenders to be found in that mid-range area. Hey, rejected by Capella. What you like about Capella as a shot blocker is the patience. He waits until the shooter commits. There's Bogdanovich with the three. The rebound by Klay Thompson. And the Warriors with possession here. 11-point game. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. 
I love this game plan. That's 10 points in a row from the close. Green's checked in for Wiseman. Atlanta's gone two for four from range to start things off. Here's Battist one. And he slams it in one-handed. What a way to begin this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team. Started early. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Man, your Hawks you dance team. Thirty-four seconds left in the first quarter. Murray against Thompson. And again, another missed shot. Nineteen seconds left in the first quarter. Baddest one with the bucket. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Right side, Murray. There's the three. And they recover it. Capella finds Collins to the inside. Second chance shot. And it's finished off by Capella as he lays it in. The muscle Capella brings packs a punch, especially when he's hitting the office of glass. And so it's the Golden State Warriors in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. We'll be right back after this word. everybody this game six getting started a very convincing performance from the Warriors so far you know they've been relentless in how they attack the paint they came in looking to attack from the get-go willing to be physical and setting the tone so on the floor for Golden State to kick off the second quarter Poole and Thompson man the backcourt then there's Jonathan Kaminga. Then there's Draymond Green. And it's Baddest One in at the four. Well, guys, Baddest One in the last out of against the Hawks were simply terrific. He scored 20 points and was a constant presence on the board. His stat line was unreal. Impossible to repeat? I don't know. Coming off of that performance, you tell me. Guys? Outstanding. Thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. That's what every player has control of, his level of activity. It allows you to impact the game even if the shot isn't falling. Here's baddest one. They lead by 20. That's the most we've seen. His second. Team first. First free throw is good. For the Warriors. Number 10. Taking two shots. He makes one or two that time. For Atlanta, they've got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. That's his first foul. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Now here's Young. Woo! To the left wing. Here's Collins. They had some success in the first quarter, but since then, they've gone cold. An intimidator himself, Capella's not shying away from a little contact. That is what. And that one is hammered home. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Bogdanovich, no good. To me, there's a fine line between being aggressive and just flat out forcing it. His inability to make shots right now is sinking the ship. This first half has been all him. He's getting to his spots and going to work. Yet another steal from him. And that's his sixth Number steal 10. of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You gotta love it. In terms of offense, they've been the more efficient team by far. They've had better patience, better shot selection so far, but we still have a long way to go. 
Now here's Murray. And then it's Collins with the dunk. The agility, the hops, the great hands. Collins is the perfect alley-oop partner. Drives to the hoop. And the powerful one-handed slam. <laughs> They're simply not missing. Unreal. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Collins has got four points in the quarter. I just love Trey Young's feel for the game. Oftentimes, he can see the play develop before anyone else. Baddest one with the bucket. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. The Hawks have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Puts it up from 12. Collins with the rebound. The Hawks shooting just 38% on this quarter. Here's Murray. And it's Atlanta scoring again. Very hard guy to match strides with. Also, Murray varies his pace, but he can stop on a dime. And he's been an ideal teammate tonight. He's really creating plenty of looks with his passing. There has been an emphasis on ball movement, and he's been a major catalyst. Here's Young. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Doesn't go for him. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Here's baddest one. There you go. He's a monster at the rim. So athletic. Obviously, he plays on the attack. And 101 left in the second period. They kick it out to Murray. Pass to Bogdanovich. Now Murray. Lots of room. The shot off that time. Here's baddest one, guarded by Young. <laughs> oh, what a powerful finish. You could feel the impact. Oh, he's going to be bragging about that one later, and for good reason, too, man. Fellas, that was ruthless. He threw it down with some authority. And out of bounds. The Warriors will take it. Monk, he's checked in for the Hawks. Wiseman, he's checked in for the Warriors. Andrew Wiggins comes in for Kaminga. Here's baddest one. Can't hit from in close. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. Outside Young. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Takes it inside. Baddest one. He goes up again. He got it again. Sensational. And that gives him 51. Making it look easy. Number 10, his first, team second. Just four seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. And so it's the Golden State Warriors firmly in control with an impressive 28-point lead as the quarter ends. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And the energy is palpable in this arena. Welcome back to the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. And the Hawks shooting 40% so far in this one. Young runs point with Murray at the two. Collins plays the four with Capella at the five. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three spot. So that's the Hawks five. Here's baddest one. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. I don't think the D has an answer for him right now. He is just getting any shot he wants. Atlanta with the ball. Outside Young, pass to Murray. To the left side wing. Collins, a good look. And again, it's Atlanta. Man, he keeps doing his part. 
they just haven't been able to get over the hump. Number just an incredible display of power. He attacked the rim with both hands. Most definitely. That nabbing another steal. He's been Number on the 10. attack defensively, leaving nothing on the table. Hey, it's the postseason after all. And you look at that all-time playoff steals list. He's moving up the ranks. And so it's Atlanta with it. Out to the wing from deep. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got his fifth assist in this one. He's showing us a lot of everything tonight. Collins becoming more and more versatile at the offensive end. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And the first one at the line is good. Number 10. And so he makes both from the line. Atlanta has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Outside Young. Collins against Wiseman. Collins inside. And he converts the layup. Collins has got nine points now in the quarter. Attacking the teeth of that defense. This is where... Another one goes! Incredible! What a performance. He's now tied for third most points in single-game playoff history. Boy, the way he's been scoring the ball, you had a feeling he'd leave his name in the record books. Thompson against Murray. Down low. Kicks it out to Collins. And it's Atlanta scoring again. Taking things into his own hands this quarter. Trying to keep his team afloat. Baddest one. And another one. And he's tied second all-time in scoring for a playoff game. Yes, just a miraculous offensive display. This crowd on the edge of their seats. Pass to Collins. Inside. And then it's Collins with the dunk. I love that Trey Young puts his passes on target and in spots where his teammates... And good! There's another! His offensive excellence continues to be on full display. And he's now moved into second all-time for scoring in a playoff game. Back to the right side. Collins passes to Capella. Blocked! Stolen by Capella. Two minutes remaining in the Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. The Warriors have gotten all six of their shots to fall. Talk about a perfect start to the half. Baddest one, no good. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. The offensive rebound. They kick it out to Murray. And here's Collins for three. Atlanta again missing. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. And the Warriors miss again. Atlanta's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. It's scooped up. Here's Capella. Off target with a jump hook. The Warriors shooting a legendary 79%. Their offense is just on a tear. And again. And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense, really taking it to the opposition. So for the Hawks, Akangwu's checked in for Capella. Monk comes in for Bogdanovich. And Holiday subbed in for Young. Green's checked in for the Warriors. DiVincenzo comes in for Klay Thompson. Oh, a nice shot by Collins. No matter where he is on the floor, Collins seems to invite contact. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Another bucket! Wow! The scoring tonight, just mind-blowing. And he's nearing first all-time for scoring in a playoff game. Collins outside. The three is up. Parries it from three. Collins has got 18 points in just the second half. Trying to slice into this deficit every time up the floor. Terrific quarter for him. Here's baddest one. And yes, another basket. What a game from him. 72 points. And he's been simply sensational throughout this one. And down it goes. Jam that one home. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. Turning deep. He swipes the ball away again. 
And he's now tied for good. That's another bucket. And he's now tied the all-time mark for points in a playoff game. Boy, he's been cooking since the opening tip. And they've been powerless to slow him down. Collins finds Holiday. It's rebounded by Golden State. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Here's baddest one. Good. He hits again. And with that bucket, if you can believe it, he sets a new all-time record for points in a playoff game. Boy, the way he came out tonight, you could feel his level of focus. He put his team on his back and has delivered an incredible offensive show. And nice to take a moment to reflect on the magnitude of what he's accomplished this evening. And you can't take it for granted. This crowd witnessing a tremendous offensive performance. Unstoppable force tonight offensively. Putting up points at will. It was unbelievable to watch. Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. Here's baddest one. What I like about Collins defensively, he understands where he needs to be. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with zero pressure as they hold on to a 35-point advantage. And they've racked up a ton of turnovers. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. A chance now to hear Nate McMillan talking to his team moments ago. Okay, you gotta win this war, listen. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. On the floor for the Warriors. We've got Andre Iguodala. Kevon Looney is out there with Green. Then it's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's baddest one in at the two-guard spot. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drive. Yeah, that's a little icing on the cake right there. Putting on a show while they enjoy a big second-half lead. Kaminsky can't hit. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. Here's baddest one. Again! What an avalanche! And there it is! 82 points! This is a game that he will never forget. I know I won't. It's Monk on the wing. To the paint. Here's a Kongwu. Rebounded by Green. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Here's Battis one. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. The officials were right on top of that one. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Warriors. For me, consistent penetration the entire game. And that's given them a lot of options. And another note, how about the way they've cashed in off turnovers? Taking advantage when given yet another steal from him. And the Seals numbers, just incredible. And for a single playoff game, the third most steals in the history of the association. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime and they're doing a better job of creating space. They're simply not missing. Unreal. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. There's Kaminsky with a three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Baddest one, no good. Atlanta's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Here's Holiday. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. The first one falls. At the line for your Hawks, Aaron Holiday. Holiday hits them both. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Baddest one. Yet another bucket. He just knocked 92 points on that one. Simply surreal. I'm not sure even he can believe what's going on.
to the inside. Outside Monk. Jacks up a three. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Here's Battist one. And got it! Another basket! Oh, he's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. <laughs> B.A., it feels like he can't miss. And let's take another look at that exceptional drive, thanks to having another steal. Again and again, he finds ways to seize possessions. And he's now tied for second all-time in steals for a postseason game. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. Here's Kaminsky. And it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. The Hawks making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Moody's checked in. The Warriors have gone eight of nine here in the fourth quarter. Driving to the basket, hits yet again. Wow! And he's been dominant so far in this one. Shouldering the offense, really taking it to the opposition. The Hawks have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Griffin outside. From deep, Johnson nails it from beyond the arc. Johnson's got his first three points of the game. Woo, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Scoring this much while shooting this well. Insane. Atlanta's got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. That's going to do it for this game. These teams, the entire season, what an unbelievable journey. It'll be a hoisting of the Larry O'Brien for the Warriors. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And our season comes to a close tonight. They win the finals 4-2, putting this series away. And they get to celebrate tonight instead of starting to prepare for Game 7. What a night for this team, this city. And I just want to commend everyone in the league for a great season. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for the baddest one. <laughs> oh, his array of talents on full display. Picks up the triple-double. He swipes the ball away again. And he's now claimed second all-time for steals in a playoff game. Number Just ten. unbelievable how he's been able to impose his will defensively. Uh, leaving nothing to chance. This run shutting the door on him. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Here's baddest one. Oh, and Number makes it ten. with the kiss. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. Here in the second half, they've just found better shots. For them, the first half was maybe more of a filling out process. Now it's winning time. He may give up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. Golden State with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Baddest one. Yep, count it. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Back to Kaminsky. Wide open look. And that one's long. That's the end of the game. Thanks for coming out. Oh, and, and they've done team. it! The Make Golden sure State safety. Warriors we'll are the new events. NBA Getting champions! Ahead. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes from winning it all. An incredible display of resilience. Seemingly, every time they were challenged, Grant, they rose to the occasion. And B.A., I have to give props to the front office for making all the right moves. And the coaching, just phenomenal. And then, hey, it's a player's league. Those guys came out and took care of business. And thanks to everyone out there who's been with us through this entire journey. Take care, and we'll see you next season.
What's up, everybody? Congratulations on winning the finals MVP. <laughs> right? Nate, my man, thank you, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to give a shout out, man, because you've been here since day one, bro. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you. Uh, when you got drafted last year, did you ever imagine this happening like today? If I took the easy route, the answer would be no. But the truth is, Nate, if I'm being completely honest with you, yes, I did. I visualized this and I manifest this, man. And I know that sounds all cliche and all that, but I guarantee that every person who has won this award pictured themselves winning it many times before. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Spoken like a true MVP. <laughs> but honestly, though, did you really think it was possible in your rookie year, though? I mean, obviously it was possible, Nate. I mean, because it happened, you know? I mean, it's easy for me to sit up here and say I expect this all along, you know, so that's what I'm gonna do. You know, one of the perks of winning a title is looking like you knew all along, and I did. So tell me, is there anything else left for you to achieve? All done? All right, thanks guys. All right, let's do this. Who's first? Congratulations on winning the NBA championship, Ooh, man. My man, Nate. My man, Nate. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. It's been great having you here since day one. Well, you know, uh, it's been an honor of mine, of course. But my question is this, and it's real simple. How does it feel to come into the league as a rookie and help lead this team to a championship? Man, I am speechless right now. Honestly, like speechless. You know, I feel like doing a little dance to show, you know, just how I'm feeling in this moment kind of thing. <laughs> By all means, maybe the MP dance from TikTok, yeah? <laughs> nah, what you know about that, man? <laughs> Listen, man, you got to get on social media for all that. <laughs> but yeah, man, I feel like dancing, bro. Like, if you're talking joy, happiness, you know, all the good things in life, man. I feel like I'm in a dream, man. I just don't want to wake up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that you've won a title in your rookie year, what else is left? I mean, have you accomplished your goals? By no means, man. I mean, just because we won a title, that does not mean my journey as a player or as a person has to end. You know, the worst, the worst thing you can do is get spoiled by success in this. Very true. So what else are you looking to do? I mean, well, besides one more title. <laughs> my bad. I just had a moment. But, you know, I'm definitely looking to increase my involvement in the, uh, the music industry. You know, people really got to know my personality on a playoff run. And I hope, you know, it will help as we start releasing these albums over the summer. All right, cool. Uh, I think I'm done. You guys have a good night.